it seems like I went trash picking last night and now I'm trash picking today because that's exactly what I did. Let's see, a bag. This looks like a nice pedestal thing. I mean, is it though? Yeah, Bombay Company. That's good stuff. A bucket. Oh, wee wee pads for the puppy. We like puppies. Creepy ankle weights. Anything in here? No. Actually, maybe. Anything in here? Moen, buy it for looks, buy it for life. What do you think? Is that something we want? Yeah, that's like serious brass right there. We'll take that. Whoa! Put that on our pedestal. Now let's see. What is this here? Some kind of coffee machine. The Jura coffee machine. Eh, I don't know. I don't really like these coffee machines. Let's see, do we want a bunch of stain? I don't know. Yeah, this is what this is. It's like you go to the store and you get some samples of paint to decide what color to paint your house. That last batch of Nerf stuff that I picked up, nobody wants it, so I'm not picking up any more Nerf crap, potentially ever. This lamp, I don't know, what do you say? Is that a nice lamp? A little lampy lampers in there? Oops, I screwed up, I had the camera on the wrong setting. Anyway, I was just saying, this ain't a great lamp, but it's not broken. So, we'll throw it in the back. Here's a bunch of junk food. Look at these donuts, right? Like, the only reason I bought these donuts, because there's 12 in here, I bought them off the day-old rack. They're 99 cents. So even though I only ate one, two, six of them, would you pay 99 cents for six donuts? Let's see, we got a blender. Christmas tree base. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, see, it's like an elephant and you put stuff on top of it. It's like a stand, but its leg is broken. All right, so I guess that's about it for this pile. I don't think I'm gonna mess around with the, sometimes these coffee machines, espresso machines can be valuable, but I don't really want that. So let's go find some more stuff. Here's a little rinky-dink pile. Let's see what we got. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, but it's mint in the box. Then we got that thing. <laughs> and we do not need another old typewriter. Yeah, those things are kind of useless. Plastic jug? No, but we got the April Air water panel, whatever that is. I think I'm a little bit early. This is kind of a small route, and I'm almost done with it. And all I've found so far is a lot of nothing. But, let's see, can I put the plug in the pool noodle? Don't tell anyone. Usually what happens in this town, huh, there's another plug. Will that one fit in the pool noodle? I guess. I'd probably better take that. Usually what happens in this town is I'll find like one or two piles that are good, but you know, some, some trash picking routes, you can pretty much rely on them to have a lot of piles out and it's pretty consistent here. You know, I might get one or two good piles by the end of the night. 
So I think this stuff probably covers half of our gas money, but we better get back to the hustle because we need to make more than that. Otherwise, how are we gonna pay for more donuts? Oh my God, they were 99 cents. Well, here's a pile. Let's see, Schwinn? I don't know. I'm not really in love with these like 24 inch kids Schwinn's, but it's clean. Then a weird little scooter. That's like a Razor scooter. Hmm. I don't know. Should we try and get the battery out of that? That's a little complicated. This looks like a fun thing though. Why didn't they have this when I was a kid? They did and it was powered by a gas engine and it would kill you. Other than that, just books. But yeah, we got this Schwinn. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a pretty clean little bike. Looks like today's the day of the small piles. But look at this thing. Ooh, that's crazy. That is a crazy, I don't know if it's like a pump or what. And then in here, look at this thing. I don't know what that is. That's nuts. Some kind of heavy iron thing too. Anything else in here? Let's see. Um, some kind of steam cleaner has a cord on it. I don't know, maybe we'll just leave that. Looks like it's more trouble than it's worth to, uh, to cut that cord, but look at these wild pieces of cast iron goodness. I don't know. What do you think that is? It almost looks like a rear end cover from a truck, but it ain't. And that thing? These aren't really that heavy, but I'm trying to pick them up one-handed. So let's put that in the back. See, it comes with a gasket and everything. I'm gonna look that thing up. Usually this kind of stuff doesn't really sell that well. You know, cause it's like weird and esoteric. It's kind of like industrial stuff, but who knows? It's very interesting. All right, we're back at that pile where we, uh, where we were earlier. Looks like the guys put out some more stuff, not much. I wonder if I should take this toilet snake. Eh, I don't know. Oh, that's nice. What do you think? That is such a sweet little... It looks like it's broken here, but I don't think it is. All right, so we'll take that. Um, let's see. I don't think he wants us poking around in his precious box right there. Yeah, that looks like it's got family photos, live animals. I think the main reason I wanted to come here was to cut this cord that I didn't cut last time. Oh, wow. That's a beast of a cord. Of course, the other end of the cord is stuck in a box. See, now I'm going to look like a real savage. Got it. So I just saw one other picker, and I think he's a picky picker because he drove right by this pile. Ugh. Damn, I'm gonna have to do that off camera. All right, so in here, that is disgusting. Wow. <laughs> You know what that is? Wait, can we up the exposure a little bit? That is like old meat from someone's freezer. <laughs> That's sick. All right. 
I'm gonna tell you that's like the first time. See? Stew. <laughs> it's stew. Stew from, have you seen stew? Stew from 2013, that's hilarious. Oh, look at this. You know, I don't like meat, but I sure like spaghetti. I think I should have opened this earlier. See, it's such a, it's such an innocent, oh, look at the puppy dogs. And then you look in here and it's all this meat that's seven years old. That's nasty. I don't know, is it nasty? It's all like vacuum sealed and everything. All right, so that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life ever. I mean, up to this point, it's a box full of old meat in the garbage. But uh, let's get back in the car and uh, eat some donuts. Because, ew. I'm not really into furniture. Which is why I'm not really into this thing. But I don't know. We haven't found anything else today. It's kind of like chintzy looking though. Yeah, you know what? This furniture, this thing, it just doesn't have the... Uh, just not really triggering anything in me, making me think that I should take it. What do you think? Yeah, I guess we'll just leave it. But <laughs> we, we certainly have room for it, right? I'll say this, today has been a very uneventful day. Ooh, I think I left my door open. People get mad when you do that, and I guess understandably so. But, uh... They'll figure it out. They'll get over it. What do we have? The net gear. You know what? Let me go close. Ugh. Come on through. Let me go close my door so people don't get mad at me. Turn on my blinky blinkies. There. See, I don't know how I would feel if some guy was blocking the street in my neighborhood. Hey, look at that. It's a bag of dog poop that I just picked up. It's kind of gross. Paradigm. I don't know. Think we should take that? Yeah, we'll take that. Ah, a bottle of wine. Yeah, this is just like... We might as well be at TJ Maxx or something. All this kind of household decor. The only reason I'm looking through this pile is because like a year ago I found a guitar in here that I ended up selling for decent money. But you know what we'll do? We will take the styrofoam, try not to make a mess. We'll take the styrofoam, because I can use that. That's good for, like, eBay packages. Whoop. All right. It's a nice little truck. And then we'll take this, uh, this subwoofer thing, or whatever this is. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. So let's try to take a better look at this. It is some kind of subwoofer. It's got fins on the back and things. And uh, there you go. You know, sorry it's not more exciting, but it's just a boring, boring night. Except for that box full of meat. All right, it looks like things are heating up. Not really, it's like 30 degrees out, but check this out. Some more stereo gear. Are we focused on that? Maybe. It's a Niles something or other. And this is a Pioneer, and that's a Pioneer. I don't think this is really great stuff, but I'm gonna take it all because, uh, because uh, 
Well, because I can, and because I haven't found anything else, and I'm going to use the magic snapping technique to get it in the car. Check this out, though. <laughs> can you see that? Wow. We are not focused tonight at all. Press receiver, hit function with CD till receiver tape comes on, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Sometimes people need instructions, I guess. I saw another guy at this pile earlier. I don't know what he takes, though. Let's see, shoes. Bulbs. You want to plant some tulips? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Furniture. A basket. This bag feels heavy. Oh. Look, it's grandma's ashes. <sighs> Imagine if that was true. All right. Trampoline pipes. Blasey, blasey, blah. A big pink horse or unicorn or something. A tarp. Some really crappy chairs. And now we're back to the uh, back to the tulips. Oh, sorry, folks, but at least we got something to plant for springtime, right? I'm feeling kind of fat lately. That's because I am fat. So what do you think? Will this old exercise bike help me get in shape? Is this what I need in my life? The Slender Cycle by Vitamaster? Will it make me look like her? Or him? <laughs> look at this crazy thing. Let's see. I think it still works. It's got these great pedals on it. It's adjustable. I don't know though, I don't know if this is the answer to my problems. Should I bring this home and work out? Big comfy seat. It's bigger than my couch. Let's see, light up deer, basket. You know, we'll take the old computer. Those are worth like, I used to get 20 bucks each for those untested, but now they're worth like 10 cents a pound in scrap. And I guess that's about it for this pile. I don't think I'm gonna get in shape by riding this old bike, but it sure was cool to look at it, wasn't it? All right. How you doing tonight? Good, how you doing? Pretty good. That's a good piece of old stool there if you want. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Thanks. Oops. Well, kind of like this shiny uh, little table thing that I just dropped. I don't know. Looks pretty nice. I was kind of hoping that it was made of metal. And I may have broken it when I dropped it. See? See what it looks like? But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Should we take it? I guess. It's one thing that I have to do. I have to learn to be a little bit more confident when uh, I sort of get, you know, caught with the camera. Like when that guy came down the driveway, I was a little bit like, uh-oh, he's going to see me with my camera. But I really don't think people care that much. I think people are so accustomed to seeing cameras everywhere that it just doesn't even really register to them. But I don't know. But it, like, if you hear the tone of my voice when that guy came down, I was like, oh, how are you tonight? Sorry, I'm, I'm recording in your driveway. Please don't, please don't have me arrested, mister. But yeah, I gotta, 
I gotta get past that. But this thing's cool though, right? This is weird. Not long ago, I found three snow shovels in this pile. Now we have this big snow blower. What do you think? I think I might be able to fit it in the car. But look at this. The little handle's broken off of it. How are you going to start it with no little handle? I don't think anyone replaced the shear bolts. Does it turn? Uh. Is that. I don't know. I don't really know how to test this thing without pulling it. And it is pretty huge. So, I think what I will do. Let's see, can we get in there? Now there's like no real way to get in there and try to turn it. Yeah, I think I'll leave it for the next guy. I'm not really super into these anyway. And that's going to be a tight fit in the Camry. Alright, so we enjoyed the snow shovels, but uh, not so much the snow blower. <coughs> Poor puppy dog. Well, I've been looking for a reason to end this video. And this is as good a reason as any. A nice pile, a couple of bikes, some barking dogs. So, here we have a beautiful Diamondback cross-country hybrid. And then we have this red Diamondback Cobra 24 piece of junk. I'm not going to take the red one because I have an identical bike at my house that just nobody wants. It's been there forever. I don't know, maybe someone bought it, but it's junk. The rest of this looks like recycling, but you know what? What a great way to end the night. So, I uh, do appreciate you guys coming along with me, keeping me company. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.